motivated to go out there and play, you know. We'll go out and do it. Oh, that's just, that's just awesome, Mark. We did play an event in the reserve grade grand final. I was in that one, but that was the only other taste. And this is ten times as big being a first grade grand final. So um, for, for me and uh, my family and, and everyone back home in Skain, it's just, just going to be great. Said, you know, imagine how the town would be the week if we made the grand final, and mate, it's been unbelievable, you know, but not surprised, not, you know, I think uh, everybody will. When we got up on the weekend, braced themselves, they knew it was coming. I'll be jigging for a week if I do score a winning try. You know, our team is 70% local blokes. You know, they've come from Cessna North and Toronto and Belmont and Charles Stan, and, and so the feeling is like, if you're playing for your local club, it's what every kid grew up wanting to do, and, and they are uh, this Sunday. Everyone would love to be part of what's going on in Newcastle right now. That side, they've played wonderful football all year. They've put up with their football right now. That side, they've played wonderful football all year. They've put up with the, 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 the conditions, the, the crowd, six and seven thousand in pouring rain. They've driven down the highway three weeks in a row. I'd, you know, I'd, I'd love to see them go home happy on Sunday. Well, mate, obviously my heart tells me that, you know, I'd really love to see Newcastle win it. My heart uh, says Newcastle, but uh, I think uh, it says uh, me. Giving their time up and great playing for training and that to come out and still give the kids something in rugby league and a bit of activity and a bit of fun back in the game. Yeah, I think it'll go well. I mean, well, we're, we're due to beat Manly. I mean, they're sort of sort of great terrorists for a few years now, so I mean, it'll be great enough to knock them off in the big one this week. Uh, it means everything. Uh, I've got a couple of weeks off work and everything's just going in towards this game. It's just going to be brilliant. the playing aspect is concerned or have you just been soaking up the atmosphere? I think at this point in time so far there's been a lot of soaking up of the atmosphere but to be fair we played Manly a couple of times over the last um, few weeks we we know very much what they're capable of doing they're a magnificent side uh, and uh, we know that uh, there are aspects of the game we can improve on since playing them last and if we do that I'm, I'm fairly confident of getting a, a positive result. As a coach, obviously Andrew Johns is a, an integral part of your side. There is a question mark about yourself. And as a coach, would you go into a grand final with a player that's not 100% fit? It I, I depends on, on the player, depends on the circumstances, uh, and depends what, what other players they're carrying, knocks, and uh, the old setup of, of, of the, um, 
the personnel you've got available, but uh, certainly no risk will be taken with Andrew. We'll be uh, clarifying the situation with the medical staff prior to him training and uh, prior to him taking the field. And uh, obviously we'd like him out there, and, and he's pretty confident about being there. Any news from Malcolm really? Yeah, naturally there will be, but you know, um, I, 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 excitement too and uh, anticipation. Malcolm, enjoy Sunday. Thank you. Tony, uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, being one of the originals, this grand final has got extra significance for you. It does, my gear. We've, uh, myself and the boys and uh, those that have come and gone, uh, have worked very hard for this, for this day. And um, those that have come and gone, uh, have worked very hard for this, for this day. And um, you know, we hope to do especially well. You've dreamed about this moment for so long in your career. Uh, now that it's come, uh, is it about time that the hype went away so you can concentrate on footy? Yes, most definitely. It was uh, encouraging during the week when everybody showed, showed their support. Um, but uh, now it's time to focus on the game and get, get the job done and then, uh, and then really enjoy the support uh, post-game. What about people painting their houses and the sausage rolls and the red and blue cakes and beer? And... Oh, it's brilliant. I, I, I recall in the first year with, with, the, with, the, with the, the whole team of originals when we used to dream about this, this day and uh, this, this week and uh, post-match events and um, it looks like the, you know, it's all on track and hopefully we can uh, uh, enjoy the whole dream. But save at the moment. Good on your mic, thanks. extra significance for you. you, you're one of the originals, this moment uh, has come along for you, an extra significance the final game for the Newcastle Knights. Yeah, that's right, uh, it'll be pretty special for me and uh, there'll be nothing better than the main a premiership win, so in my final game in the red and blue. There's been a couple of statements during the week that the old heads are going to keep the youngsters feet firmly on the ground. How are the old fellas handling it? I suppose you just have oh, many nerves. No, not really, oh, it's been pretty good actually.